Hello guys welcome to my YouTube channel. FK Tech. If you are new to the channel subscribe and turn on the notification so as to get notified with my new video. Let's look at the 2024 Jaguar I-PACE specs and news. The changes to the 2024 Jaguar I-PACE aren't huge, but small tweaks to Jaguar's first all-electric vehicle, mostly focused on styling, should help give the car a competitive edge over its new premium EV rivals. We're still waiting to see what happens as Jaguar moves closer to an all-electric future starting in 2025. But the I-PACE proves it as what it takes. Another very nice car. From 2025, Jaguar will be an all-electric brand with a number of new products, but that doesn't mean Jaguar's first electric car should be forgotten, nor the British brand with the updated I-PACE. 2024 Upgrade Kit even with the biggest design changes made, the visual changes to the vehicle are still subtle. These are the same stylish new shield grille, lower bumper slats, restyled rear diffuser insert painted in Atlas Grey, and what Jaguar calls body-colored door trim over black plastic items. Old car. Basically, it was a beautiful car, so the Jag didn't rock the boat in front of it. The interior is identical, featuring Jaguar's latest Pivi Pro 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Alexa, Spotify, and what three words integrated into the navigation system. The system works well, fit and finish look better than ever in the iPace experience, and the leather-wrapped cabin and beautiful metal trim feel truly premium compared to rivals from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. But with our R-Dynamic HSE black test car costing £77,495, we'll hope so. It's available in three trim levels, only available in R-Dynamic black with S, SE, and HSE specs at the top, and the range topping 400 Sport. HSE models come with all the features, including wireless phone charging, multi-driver assistance technology, full keyless entry, panoramic sunroof, power tailgate, 12.3-inch digital dashboard and heads-up display, heated power seats and cooled, rear-view camera it is possible. Matrix LED headlights, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity. As for the i dynamic prowess, it's a bit different than before, but it's not bad. It still runs on our car's 90 kWh battery for 477 miles on 20-inch wheels. With 395 horsepower and 696 newton meters of torque in the twin engine configuration, 0 to 102 miles per hour takes 4.5 seconds, making it a quick sports car. Power delivery is typically instantaneous, and the i pace acceleration doesn't drop off at high speeds like other large electric SUVs. Even with very little feedback, the steering is much better with well-calculated weights. There's excellent grip here and the relatively compact Jag is quite heavy, but at 2,226 kg it's still the most nimble car in its class with brake-based torque vectoring. The SUV's taller body means more suspension travel, so the ride is comfortable too. The I-Pace floats over bumps and soaks up bumps in the road well. It is also quiet. On bumpy roads, there's no loud noise from under the car, the big wheels sometimes cause cabin noise, and the refinement and comfort at highway speeds is nice. Of course, the range is consumed faster in this environment, but thanks to a 100 kW charge, Jaguar says the driver can cover 128 km in just 15 minutes. A full overnight charge via the home wall box takes about 13 hours. As for other practicalities, the Jag has plenty of rear headroom and legroom, despite its relatively compact rear roofline. And the supportive front seats, which offer a lot of comfort, don't take up too much space in the back. Boot space at 656 liters isn't one of the best in the class, but it should be enough to keep the I-Pace competitive. Comment in the comments section your thoughts about this car, if it's worth buying or not.